Go. Hi, uh, this is Christy. I did a video two days ago on the iPhone and how somebody that is blind or visually impaired would use an iPhone. Today, I have the iPad and iPads work like the iPhone, the same functionalities and accessibility settings for blind and visually impaired people. I did not go much into detail in the last video because the video's intention was mainly focused on helping sighted people learn a little bit what it's like for a blind or a VI person to use their device. Um, so I didn't spend much time instructing, but a little bit. Um, I get asked a lot by uh, people like um, how I use the phone and how much I can use it and that kind of thing. So I just figured I would make a video on it. So um, right now I have my iPad in um, Braille screen input mode, which is the Braille keyboard. And I have it in screen away mode, which is where you flip the iPad up and it's standing up when you're holding it on a, on a table or on your lap. And um, then uh, you can write with the screen away from you in Braille. Um, there's also a tabletop mode and that's where the iPad is laying flat on the table or your lap. And you can choose which other way, which uh, either way is better for you or more comfortable or switch, you know. Um, so this is the screen away mode. Top six, cap I. Space R E A L L Y space E N J O Y space O N I I S O space space U N I N G space using T E C H period tap space dot six cap T apostrophe S space R co comma comma colon R R E A L L Y space C O O L period cool space dot six cap I space L O V E space A T S space A N D space M O S I I S O M U S I C space A N D space C A T S space A N D space S P E N D C C I N G space T I M E space W I T A space F A M space A N D space F R I E N D period friend period S period friends so I would like to say, um, while I'm brailing in braille screen input mode, um, if you make a mistake, you uh, to backspace, you finger one finger flick back will get you uh, to delete a key, and then one finger flick forward will get you a space. So period. that took the period away that I just added, and then period. I can Friends. add it back in, and then you can space by flicking with one finger forward. Space. So that's how that's done. And now I'm gonna lay the iPad back on the table. And I'm going to use the rotor and twist it one time with uh, two fingers portrait. to put it into portrait, portrait mode. mode. Six dot words. And again, because it was still in braille screen input. Um, and the rotor, think of it as, you use your pointer finger and your thumb and think of it as a tube of toothpaste and you hold it in your hand and you it has the twisty top and you just twist it a little bit to twist just to get into the rotor options. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how you can read what you wrote by a finger flick to the right once and maybe to the left once to, to show, to get to your text that you typed. Um, Juice privacy, Christy Fires. Juice, add post to album, text field, is editing. I really enjoy using tech, it's really cool. I love cats and music and cats and spending time with fam and friends. <laughs> Insertion point again. I kind of messed that up, but Use the you get the idea how that works. So now I figured I would show how Facebook. you would set up um, your braille, braille screen input and your rotor real quick. Um, you would go to Doc, your settings. One settings. Guide. So double you tap double tap on settings with one finger and you settings. open settings and then with one finger, you just move it down the screen on the left side of the Sounds. iPad because the iPad is a bigger screen than screen uh, the phone Selected. is. Control center. Selected. General. Home screen and, dock. Accessibility. and you go down to accessibility and then you double tap on that. Accessibility. Heading. And then. Motion. Button. Magnifier. 
Zoom. Voiceover. Vision. Voiceover. On. Button. You go to voiceover. It's near the top of the screen, and you double tap. Voiceover. On voiceover on the right button. side. Voiceover. Um, on. And then you voiceover. move your Speaking finger rate. Rate. down the Speech. screen button. Braille. Button. until voiceover. you get Braille. to button. Braille, and then you double tap on Braille. Output. Voiceover. And Back button. You just have to select. Status cells. But Braille tables. Um, One button. You have to select Braille screen input in here. Show on screen people. Word wrap. Um, Alert to output. Eight dot. Here. But Braille heading. Input Braille screen input. Six dot button. So I selected Braille screen input and I put six dot Braille for that. Input six dot button. And then output eight dot voiceover back button. You back out of that. Voiceover Braille button. And then you go Braille button. Voiceover verbosity audio button commands um, activities R rotor actions button oh. rotor button. You go down to rotor. You scroll down with one finger till you get to rotor, and then you double tap on rotor. Braille screen voiceover back button. And in rotor, this is where all your actions are. Audio ducking. So selected words. Rotor heading braille screen selected characters. Um, this actions is where available. you would select if you want braille screen input to be in your rotor. That way, you can easily access it when you twist with two fingers um, to the left and right. And um, so you can put them in any order. I put Braille screen input at the very beginning of my rotor. And selected. Braille selected. Characters. Then I put characters Actions and available. words and, and things that I wanted them in that order. So when I'm, when I'm twisting through the rotor, I'll land on which one I would like. And then um, also, if you're in the rotor, if you want to rearrange it at all, you just... Selected. Characters. Um, Actions available. You, you pick one that you've chose already that's in your rotor and you just finger flick up or down and select it, move up, move down. And that you can either move it above or below um, another action. So it's pretty much, it's a lot like the phone and uh, hopefully that will help you at least set up um, the braille screen input table in braille and then also putting it in the rotor so you can access it from your rotor.